Hey gang, if you want to know how to do a circle burst or an exploding star or whatever you want to call it, check this out. For the basic version, get out your pen tool and make sure there's no fill and the stroke is set to 2. In the center of your comp, hold shift and make a straight line like this. Open up that line settings, click this button and add a repeater. Go into the repeater's transform settings and set its X position to 0. Set the number of copies to 12 and then begin rotating them until it makes this shape. To make it look more like the star shape we want, drag out the Y anchor point until it starts resembling what we're looking for. Now to animate it, go to the Add button again and this time click on Trim Paths. Set the end to 0% and then, while making sure you're at the beginning of your timeline, make keyframes for both start and end. Move forward a little bit and then drag both start and end up to 100%. Highlight both of the end keyframes and move them forward a few frames then highlight all four of the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Lastly, I'd recommend holding Command or Control and double clicking on your Pan Behind tool. This will center the anchor point to the animation so if you want to scale it down or make any other changes it won't get messed up. And you're done! Now like I said, that was just the basic version, but take a look here and you can see I've made a ton of others that took all of 30 seconds to modify. Circle bursts are super customizable. You can change their size, the length of the stroke, or the stroke width, the rotation. Really anything is possible with these things, so get out there and have fun with them. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.